Hey everyone, I wanted to um, do a little video to show you guys around the time cards on paychecks. You're going to start needing to look at these more regularly um, as we transition over to fully electronic timekeeping and stop doing the um, manual entry on the timesheets in Excel. So I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what it looks like. So your homepage or your dashboard on Paychex should look something like this. And you should see this sidebar on the left, go to time and attendance. You're all familiar with that, with PTO. Your screen's gonna look a little different than mine. Um, you should, you're probably only gonna be able to see your people. I'm not exactly sure what your view looks like, but you should at the very least be able to see your people on there. What this section over here is, um, it shows who is currently working, who is on the clock. Those are those little green um, push pins right there. And it shows the last thing that happened. I'm not sure how useful this screen is gonna be. Maybe not at all. Um, maybe as you get used to it, you will find it useful. I'm not sure. On the other side over here is a transaction log and that shows um, all of the things that have recently happened. CI means clock in, CO means clock out. So you can kind of scroll through those. And again, I'm not sure how useful that will be. What you are gonna need to look at is time cards. So kind of imagine this like it's the punching in and punching out time clock, except it's all happening online or on someone's phone. And then you can in real time see what's going on. So for example, um, I'm gonna go to Lindsay. Over on this left-hand side, you should have all of your people. So you should be able to access everyone. If you can't, let me know. And then you can see here that it has a pay period section. You toggle between pay periods by going um, back this way, forward this way. And if you want the current pay period, you just click on pay period and it'll take you there. And it shows you the dates right here. So as you can see this pay period, um, the first day is a holiday. Holidays should be pre-entered for everyone that is eligible for holidays. If you ever notice that someone who is eligible for a holiday doesn't have it in here, let me know and um, I will fix that, but those should always be in there. So you can see that on Monday 9-7, it's a holiday, seven hours. And if you go to Tuesday, you can see that Lindsay on Tuesday the 8th, which also is my birthday, um, clocked in at eight o'clock in the morning. Don't worry about the org unit. Um, she clocked out at 11.30 for lunch and that shift was three and a half hours. She clocked in again after lunch at 12.30 and then clocked out at five. Her second shift was four and a half hours for a total of eight hours for that day. And then right now, which today is Wednesday 9.9, she clocked in at 8.45 this morning and she hasn't clocked out yet. Um, and it doesn't look like she took a lunch yet. Also, when you hover over these without clicking, it'll show you what it has rounded it to um, as compared to what the actual is. So her actual clock in was 8.51 and it rounded it down to 8.45. I don't know if her start time was supposed to be nine or if it's okay that it's 8.45, but those are the kind of things that you're going to need to pay attention to um, because it's possible that like, let's imagine this one was rounded to eight o'clock. Her start time was eight o'clock, but her actual was 8.05. That's possible. You're gonna need to take note of those um, because that means she was late and someone will need to say something. So let's see what else is on here. I think that's about it, just kind of to show you what the time cards look like. Oh, let me show you um, PTO. Before we get to PTO, I wanted to show you one more thing on here. So Lindsay here, um, I showed you that she clocked in at 8.51 and it rounded it down to 8.45. The other thing that you have to pay attention to with these is, you know, what if, what if her start time was nine? I don't know what it was, but what if her start time was nine this day? Um, she's gonna be clocked in at 8.45. The system is automatically going to round her down to 8.45 um, if she clocks in seven, greater than seven minutes earlier than her start time. So just like with the time clock in the past, with this, you're gonna have to pay attention to those. And if somebody does that, 
first thing you're gonna need to do is find out, well, did they start working that early? If they did, um, by law, we need to pay them, but at the same time, you'll need to say something, and it's probably gonna happen on occasion. Um, it's If it's happening regularly or, you know, a couple days in a row and you've said something multiple times, then we need to deal with it in a different way. Um, but it's probably gonna happen on occasion. Anyway, you need to pay attention to those. So you're probably gonna have to, each pay period, just kind of hover over each one and, and see where they're at. Um, if, for example, her start time was nine and she clocked in at 8.51 and you talked to her and she said, oh yeah, you know what, I didn't start working until 8.55, you can go in and edit that. You just need to make sure that you are documenting what happened and that would happen um, by hitting the uh, pencil button. So when you go in and do the edit, you can put a note in. So that's how you will do that. I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out and now we will get back to PTO. Okay, um, I wanted to find somebody that had PTO and I found Christy from an older pay period. So you can see her whole pay period, she was clocking in and out, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. cetera. Um, and you scroll down, you'll see that she did have PTO on Thursday, 9-3. Um, if you ever want more information on the PTO, you can click on the magnifying glass. Sometimes there'll be more information. Sometimes you'll see notes in there. Um, so it looks like this had it, it was approved by Jason. And this is also where you can edit, but I wouldn't edit from here. Actually, I'm not sure if you guys can do that or not, but what, I wouldn't edit from here. I would go in and do it the other way. Um, but that's what PTO looks like. Okay, so that is an overview of what the time cards will look like in Paychecks.